Hello everybody, um, welcome back. I am opening a Barbie with you all today, my angels. Um, it's a gloomy day outside. Uh, it's like 1.30 or something. I'm having a champers because I deserve it. I haven't done this in a while, I feel a bit weird. But I've been staring at this doll for a while. I got her a few months ago, like two months ago on eBay or somewhere, can't remember. Um, and she's pretty cute. I'll show you her in a second. Um, my hair is extra buffy because I did a hair mask last night and I thought it would make my hair like heavier, but it's just made it really clean, which means it's just really big. But stay la vie. Okay, here she is. This is Kira. Ooh. And uh, I, if you've been following my videos for a while, I've wanted a Kira for a really long time. She's actually my second Kira that I've gotten, but I haven't taken the other Kira out of the box. She is a uh, moving and grooving, I think her name is, and she sort of walks. Like that's her shtick, is that she walks, and then her shoes have um, stamps on the bottom that you can dip in ink, and it makes footprints. Anyway, um... Also, if you can hear loudness, there is a tennis club beneath my building and they're having some sort of children's music festival something. Uh, anyway, it's very loud and very annoying. Um, say la vie. This is Sit and Style Kira. Here out. She's so cool. And her thing is, is that, I mean, look at them all, obviously, they come with a an inflatable... Uh, armchair couch and I actually me and my sisters in our rumpus growing up we had this I think it was blue and it was like an actual sofa an inflatable couch and it was terrible to sit on especially in summer and where I grew up it was very hot all the time but especially in summer so like you wouldn't want to sit in like a plastic chair especially if you have eczema like moi and I'm looking at it now it's even cooler that I remember this doll she comes with stickers. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, she comes with stickers. And you can stick them on the couch. And also her clothing. Because part of her clothing is acetate. Just like the couch. So, I, yeah, that's cool. Um, also her pants are fabric. Like a woven fabric. And they have the print of the stickers. Which is also pretty cool. It's all very cohesive and cute. Reusable stickers. So I guess they peel off and then, you know what I mean? Like you can take them off the couch and then stick them on something else, maybe? Like, I don't know. Oh, she's so cool. I also, as per, love Christy. I really want the yellow couch. And Teresa, she looks pretty sick. And Barbie, obviously. But like, Barbie's friends are always cooler than Barbie. Don't you feel that? And this is from the sort of Y2K sort of era of Barbie branding as well, which I j'adore. When is she from, actually? 1999. There we go. Say la vie. Okay, I'm gonna get her out now. I've been delaying it, I don't know why. Also, this box is not one that you have to um, tear apart, it just undoes. So she's probably been actually pulled out of her box before, which I did not realize. Oh, she's so cute. I just noticed her earrings are also blue and her lipstick is like a coral red, which I love that they picked a coral red to go with blue. You know what I mean? Her glasses look so stupid. <laughs> okay, so her packaging definitely has been pulled out before, which is kind of annoying, but again, sale la vie, because it's torn there, but I'm really not bothered. Not gonna lie. Also, it's got like a swirl love heart thing on the inside, and I am obsessed. I feel like I haven't made a video in Donkey's Yonks, and I apologize um, if anyone cares. <laughs> um, but I don't really know why. I haven't really gone off Barbie or anything, but I remember when I first bought some dolls, and it was during like lockdown one in Melbourne. So packages were taking a really long time to get to your house. 
And I remember thinking, oh my god, I'm so desperate. I want this 101 Dalmatian Barbie so bad. You know what I mean? I was gagging for it, right? And then suddenly, a year later, I found myself with like a hundred Barbies and like 20 of them still in boxes. And I wasn't as excited anymore, like to take them out of the box. And I just thought, well, if I'm not like getting that same sort of spark of joy um, when I unbox a Barbie, maybe I shouldn't be unboxing them. Maybe I should just wait until I feel like I want to do it, you know? And it's like joyful again. Anyway, I think it's also because I'm moving soon. I'm weirdly enough already been in this apartment for almost a year and I'm very excited to move. A living in an apartment was very cute for lockdown two because I used to live in a complete shithole. So to move into such a nice, fancy apartment was really lovely since we were going to be spending so much time at home. But now we're like, I mean, in Australia, we live in a privileged bubble, but like we're able to do things now. Like life is kind of going back steadily to normal, whatever that is. Um, and I kind of want a house. I kind of want a backyard and have people over and, you know, because we can travel now around, our, around the country. I want to have like, family visit or friends visit and have them stay at my house so yeah that's I was there was a point to that story I was thinking about like okay my next house I really want to have like a full display you know what I mean like a whole cupboard and they all look beautiful because at the moment they're sort of crammed in because I live in this tiny apartment every room is tiny so like this you can't spread out you know and I want to like set them up pretty and when I have people over I want to show them off because I'm a loofah okay there's the couch so exciting, I can't wait to blow that up. And here's Kira. Maybe I'll call her Kiza. Kiza for short. Is that weird? Probably. So yeah, I was thinking about my next place and what the little setup will look like. And maybe I'll have my own office or spare room just to fill with my shit. Um, and then I was just like, why don't I do a video? Why am I depriving myself of opening these glorious creatures, you know? bit, mm, bit courage. What's the other one I'm thinking of? Cardan. Yeah. Pierre Cardan. And I also love her, um, skinny capris. <laughs> She's quite camp. Also, okay. I'm just going to take your sunnies off. So normally these sunnies, they come just like stitched into the head. But these ones have a little strap at the back. I don't know if that's obvious enough but um yeah they're kind of like a goggle scenario and they're really cute sunnies actually oh Kira's so pretty isn't she so pretty the hair is so soft this is the brush that came with her blue it's all very cohesive this one I love her haircut too she's definitely got layers which the Barbies from around this time they have like Barbies used to have quite straight cut hair and this is like jagged jagged like she's definitely got long layers which I don't really understand maybe it helps them sit flat in the box or I don't know but I really like her hair actually I might do a reset on her and because the bangs on Barbie sometimes are just flat like that is just spiky you know I want to give them a bit of zhuzh a bit of like um, volume or I don't know I don't know if there's anything to be done. I literally just hit her in the head with the brush. Okay, there we go. Now you're just gonna see my disgusting nails. I used to get my nails done all the time. I was that bitch, you know what I mean? I had nails always. And now they just went really gross after the last batch. Um, and they're growing out nicely now. And these are her shoes. They're sort of like a little wedge. They're a bit blurry, soz. Um, but they're clear plastic and they've got like a thick strap over the top with a fake buckle they kind of look like um what are those clogs kind of the wooden clogs shoal dr shoal anyway they're cute i like them they definitely go with the vibe lots of clear plastic going on which i love I'm really into this Kira. I think she's so cute. I think this hair is stunning. It's so soft. Okay. 
I'm sure there's some dirty fucker out there that's going to be into me blowing this up a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Oh my god, look at that. So classic. What? Take two. Okay. Do you have to stab it? Maybe you do. I'm literally blowing into nothing. Unfold the chair and blow it up through the tube. Close tube and push into the chair. Okay. Okay, also, this is a pamphlet that came with her. Look at that little drawing. It's so cute. I'm sure this is interesting somewhere. I actually have a lot of people now, because I upload these to YouTube, and um, basically to store them somewhere, because I'm scared I'm going to lose my phone or... Anyway, um, but now I have actual genuine followers on YouTube, which I love. They're so cute. They'll like comment on my videos and tell me about like, they had that doll when they were a kid or, or they'll be like kisses from Brazil. Like it's, it's very sweet. Um, yeah. So they're like more serious Barbie collectors, people that probably actually also collect Barbies, not just like, you know, watch me collect them, but, um, they appreciate me showing things like this. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sticking something, a stick down there and it is closed off. Am I crazy? Am I going absolutely insane? It's, ah! <coughs> oh my god, it's taking forever. so hard to do. I feel like my lung capacity is depleted. How cute is that? It's a Jeff Koons. Like, so here are the stickers and they feel quite thick. The actual plastic is quite thick. So maybe they are reusable. Oh, they are. They're just plastic. Oh, I remember this as a kid. That's right. It's just a really, really thin piece of plastic. They're not sticky or anything. And they just actually cling to the acetate. Oh, I want this. Imagine if you bought, like, adult human clothes like that. Oh, it fell off. Oh, no, it's stuck to my finger. That's so cute. Also, these stickers are uh, half moons. Yeah, a crescent moon, sorry. A star, a uh, butterfly, and a flower. Oh my god. That is so cute. Oh my god, isn't that so cute? Do you love? I love. They're stickers? Yeah, but they're plastic. They're not actually sticky, so you can like take them off and move them around. Oh, and how do they stay on? Well, oh. they just stick. Whoa! I'm kicking back and relaxing. Oh. oh. No, she's a little bit more up. Someone's told her a really important story and she's like really up right now. She's like, what? <laughs> she's got a very beautiful face, like good Barbie face. I agree, and I think her hair is stunning. Yeah, it's really soft. And a tiny fringe. I know, her really like stabby veranda. Quite hard actually to get her on the chair. It is. Say la vie though. Oh, she's lounging. That's chic. That is chic. Also, can I tell you, I'm gonna play a song. Oh no, I'm recording on my phone. Hey Google, play Government Hooker by Lady Gaga. I'm going to show you my favourite song at the moment, but say la vie. Bye. Bye. Also, she does the knee crack, just letting you know. <laughs>